To solve an equation like this, I need to get the x by itself. But we'll note that we have an x on both sides of the equation. In such cases, a useful first step is to bring all of the x's to one side. Now, I can either get rid of the 2x or the 3x. In this case, I'm going to get rid of this 3x by subtracting on both sides. I could actually do either. We generally like to have our x's on the left, um, just by convention, but of course that's not necessary. But in this case, if I do that, I would get negative x minus 1 equals negative 4. I have to, if I subtract 3x from one side, I have to do it from the other. Next, I want to get x alone by using reverse order of operations, reverse order of operations. Uh, to get rid of the minus 1, I'm going to add 1. And if I do that on one side, of course, I have to do that on the other. And that leaves me with minus x is equal to negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. So we figured out what negative x is. So the opposite of x is equal to the opposite of 3. That's going to mean that x itself is 3. Another way to see that is algebraically is to multiply both sides by negative 1. Negative 1 times negative x is going to be positive x, and negative 1 times uh, negative 3 is equal to positive 3. So I'm claiming that x is equal to 3. I can plug, check this by plugging the value of 3 in for x in the original equation and seeing if it is in fact true. 2 times 3 is 6, so on the left I have 6 minus 1. 3 times 3 is 9, so on the right I have 9 minus 4. 6 minus 1 is 5, 9 minus 4 is also 5, so it does work, and x equals 3 is our correct answer. Thank you, thank you.